Okay, so this video is about the luminosity and the apparent brightness of stars. Before we can talk about luminosity and brightness, we need to talk about intensity. So, intensity is the power emitted by a source divided by the area of, in this case, a sphere over which the energy is spread equally. So if I had a source of energy, like the sun, it's emitting energy in all directions, like this. If I wanted to find the intensity of the sun, what I would have to do is I would have to measure the power emitted um, all around the sun. So I could draw a sphere around the sun and see how much energy this sphere try to measure in joules, is absorbing over some specific time. So I might say time in seconds. So if I had a joule second here, I'd be able to measure the amount of energy coming into the sphere um, in watts. And that would be the power absorbed by the sphere. And then because I have it spread over the sphere, I would have to divide by the area. So it would be power in watts per area, which might be in meters squared. Okay? So if I wanted to express this in a nicer looking equation, I could say that intensity is equal to power divided by our area. So this is a sphere. So we're going to say 4 pi r squared, which is the surface area of a sphere. Okay, But when we switch to talking about stars, we don't need an entirely new equation. We just need to change some of the vocab associated with this equation. Okay, So for stars, we talk about luminosity instead of power. And we talk about brightness instead of intensity. Okay, so for a star, basically, luminosity is the same thing as power, and brightness is the same thing as intensity. Okay. So if we had to rewrite the equation that we started off with, which was intensity is equal to power over 4 pi r squared, we would we'd just replace intensity with brightness b, b, and power with luminosity l. Okay, so that's my luminosity. And that's my brightness. Okay, that's all there is to it.